Okay, so what do we have here? I have been storing eggs. Uh, this one is marked since June 11th. We're in February 5th or 6th. Uh, so that's six, seven, eight months ago. Okay, at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> now, I don't know how this egg is going to come out. Um, because they could last up to two years, but it should be in a cold room. So during the summer, the room was not cold. Now, luckily, I live in the mountains, so it's not super hot either, but it was not originally stored in, in, in cold temperature. Okay, so now we're going to see how the egg comes out, because I want to make, I ran a, I've been buying eggs up to this moment. I did, did use a good amount of these eggs for, for four months, and they were still good, so I stopped using them because <clears throat> the whole purpose was to to store eggs for an emergency, right? For a bad day. Uh, I think I'm going to make, trusting that this egg is still good, <clears throat> I'm going to start to make my meatloaf, hoping that this egg is still good, because if not, I'm going to have to go to the store. And let's see how this egg comes out. Now, it's probably not going to be as firm as it typically is when you break it. it. The yellow part may be a little floppy or even break. If it doesn't, actually, here's a true test. Let me do a true test of an egg to see if it's good or bad, okay? Let's do a true test, hold on. True test is put the egg in water and see if it floats, right? So I don't wanna break it here. So I'm putting the egg in water and it's not floating. So it's still good. Okay. Take a book. You put it on the tip. I'm not sure if it's on the tip or whatever, but if it's, if the egg is bad, it's going to float to the top. Now I'm not leaving it in water long enough, like to be able to tell, but so far I did a little semi test here. <coughs> So the egg, I believe, is, is good. I feel safe in eating it because I've eaten it even when the yellow was a little dull. So let's see. Boom. Wow. This egg is, what, eight months old? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight months old, and it's still rocking. <clears throat> it only started getting cold. I would say... I don't. I think the, even in November is still nice. But let's say it, it started getting cold in November, December, January, February, three months ago only that it was more like refrigeration. So it passed the test. Okay, the test has passed. <clears throat> I think I have enough eggs till the Amish come back in May. I'm not a, a big egg eater, and I have two of these buckets filled. Uh, so there are like. I have like six dozen eggs in here. So now, um, <clears throat> let me get this party, st party started. Start it. Start it. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I bought some grass-fed beef, ground beef, organic, by Simply Nature. It, I got it in all, all these. I'm not sure about... This red thing it is really blood. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure I trust anything or anybody anymore. No matter what the label says, it says organic ground beef. That's it. it. Doesn't have anything else. So, if it looks like blood, it is blood. Okay. <coughs> Let me pause this. Okay, so the egg story is out of the way, right? We no longer need to know. These, this has, this bucket here has about three dozens, as I was saying. Um, <clears throat> and it's done a good job in storing. You could get these buckets for free at the supermarket, sort of like at the bakery stuff. And they will be glad if you would take it off their hands. Some of them are nice enough that they give it to you 95% clean, meaning that it's not, doesn't contain bulks and gulk of, of grease from... Uh, icing for the cake. Mm. 
And so I'm going to, I, I don't know the measurement. I'm just going to pour as much of this as possible. <clears throat> Let me get some paprika. Should put you on. I really should be putting you on pause, but you can always fast forward. So I'm going to use from the Amish my homemade seasoned salt. Okay, I don't know what kind of salt they use to be honest with you. <clears throat> I don't know if they use Redmond's, I kind of doubt it. But let me pour some of this. It's got some kind of seasoning in it, right? <laughs> Doesn't say. And then some of the paprika. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to get too fancy. Oh, I really meant to put onions and all that good stuff in it. Oh, my goodness. Um, let me just pause this. Okay, so I'm going to show you something that I do. Um, I take the peel... I'm not going to show you this. It may take forever to do this, but I saved my peels, as you can see, both of onion and garlic. And um, they got to be dry because if they're not dry, then um, I got to let it dry, right? And um, so I'm going to use pieces of this and this. I make a tea of this. I put cloves in it and I drink it every night. I, I don't care if it's hot or cold. I try to usually let it just steep. Um, I, I, it doesn't really have to boil. Uh, you could just let it just sit in water and the water would absorb the nutrients better than boiling it. Cause I believe that when you cook things, it kills the nutrients. I'll be right back. Okay. So <clears throat> even though the seasoning I, I put in this is enough because it, I mean, what is seasoning is sugar, dried sugar. I mean, not sugar, dried garlic, dried onions and all that. I'm still going to put in some fresh pepper and onions, as mentioned earlier, right? Oh boy, I guess the egg is in the bottom, huh? Should have broken it later, but I was a little anxious to see if the egg was still good. And you have the proof. Eight months later, not, not, not always um, putting some cilantro in it. Not always cold, cold temperature, and it worked. I'm, I'm, I'm so pleasantly surprised. I, I, I mean, uh, not surprised, but I'm just pleased. Um, I wonder if maybe the warmer temperature, like when I used to use the eggs back in the summer, because I was using them all along, the eggs weren't as round and fluffy as this was. And I think it's just because the weather wasn't really cold. But I mean, put it in cold weather, and I think they would have fluffed up just as fluffy and puffy as this, this one is. I. I got a little nervous for no reason after all. And I'm glad. I'm experimenting still with my wine. It's been in my dark room. I call it my little cellar. And um, it, it, it's been without sugar, by the way. It's all natural sugar. It's been fermenting. Uh, it's successfully fermented. I, I don't know if I'm going to, if it's going to get bad or if it's going to stay good or better because it, it'll be fine wine, aged fine wine, right? So, okay, so now. We have that, and uh, I don't think I'm going to put my hands on the meat. I guess I will. Uh, what I, should I? What I, I? I think I'm going to just wash my hands, so give me a second. In lemon and vinegar. I'm, I'm washing my gloves. I'm going to use my gloves to do this. And they're big gloves, but it's been they've been washed with lemon and vinegar. And here we go. I hope I didn't put too much seasoning in it. I mean, I'm not afraid of the uh, fresh ones, but the other ones, I don't know the contents of the of the salt, what they would be. Uh, so let's see how this plays itself out. <clears throat> Guess I could have also put it in a food processor, huh? You think? I don't know if people do that. I'm not a big fan of food processors, although I have one. I make my kimchi with it. And my kimchi, by the way, is still in the fridge. 
months later, um, I don't know when I did the kimchi, but it's been in the fridges. It usually will last probably even up to a year or something. I'm not using it because I, I have TMJ and it's hard for me to chew on certain things. I could only chew on crunchy stuff because my, my molars don't come close together anymore. So I, I chew with my front teeth, my front teeth mostly. That's what happens when somebody is driving behind you and looking away from the steering wheel. And then you become their victim. And it was very hard finding a lawyer and who, who knows where that's going to go. I do trust him though. So I'm going to put a lot more breadcrumbs. Apparently, that was nowhere near enough. Frankly, I'm probably going to have to use the whole thing. Because you could hardly even see it in this. could hardly even see it. I wonder if I should put another egg. Because I've never seen it. I mean, I used to do it all the time. I've forgotten what it looks like. Anybody could comment and tell me how I'm doing. But I get the feeling that I'm going to need another egg, at least. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done uh, this. And I, I know last time I messed up. So I'm going to put another egg. And you should never put your hand in the water. Because the water has lime it, the water has lime, uh, something in it, uh, uh, grandma's pickling lime. And, uh, so I'm going to stick my hand in it because my, my gloves are busy. So, oh, here we go. Now, considering this one has a crack, I don't know about this, but usually, oh my goodness, is bad. Okay. All right, you saw that. <laughs> when it has a crack, it's bad. All right. So now I gotta clean up. Now I gotta clean up. It doesn't smell though. See? This this uh, motion potion that I put the lime pickling. Uh something about it, you know, it doesn't go bad. By in, in a sense of of you know, like it's a... it doesn't smell like a rotten egg, okay? So, here we go. I spilled it, but I cleaned it up. It didn't fall through any cracks or anything. So, we're good. All right. So, it, 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 no smell at all. Okay? So, I'm going to pick another one. And this one doesn't have any cracks at all. So, it should be good. The great thing about this egg <clears throat> is that even if it cracks in there, it's never going to smell. It's sort of like started cooking itself, okay? All right, so uh, I should really t t test it, but look, it looks good. See? Look at that. Look at that beautiful egg that's been in storage outside of the fridge, okay? No bad smell to it. I didn't do the test to see if it floated or not. But um, it's still good. I mean, the 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 the, the yellow kind of cracked uh, when it fell, but it was still in one piece. Considering how old this egg is, not too shabby. So these are the oldest eggs I've ever eaten, by the way. <laughs> all right, because I was eating them all along, but they were like one month, two months, three months old when I was eating them during the summer. Oh, let me put these big old gloves on. Okay, so let's dig in again. <clears throat> and I think this takes so much breadcrumbs. It's been so long since I've done this um, that I'm, I almost feel like I don't know what I'm doing because I know it usually will come out mushy. And uh, I'm not too sure... This is looking good, but I welcome comments, even if they're not a compliment. <laughs> just, just be easy on me, okay? All right. So, it looks like it's getting mushier and mushier. And let me just finish pouring the entire panko breadcrumbs. Okay. So, oh my goodness. 
a little challenging to put these big old gloves on. So here we go. Sorry. Sorry about the camera moving. Just trying to get to all of it. That is a fair amount of breadcrumbs all over. I'm wondering how many eggs does it take to do this? I'm starting to wonder. It's not that much meat. I don't remember how to do it, to be honest with you. I'm going to pause here and look up the recipe to see if I'm missing anything. So far, I have organic, never washed eggs. Uh, I'm letting these sit to dry before I toss it into the container so that I can make tea. Okay. Onion, garlic peel with cloves tea. You heard it right. Right here in my channel. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm really surprised about this. I knew it would be saucy, but not this way. Okay, so it says Worcester source. I'm ne I've never been into that. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a little bit. I'm going to sweeten it up a little bit with maple syrup. Just a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> let's see what's in my ingredients of the Worcester source. Distilled water, white vinegar, molasses, malt vinegar. Not bad stuff, actually. So I'm going to use some of this. So it's two tablespoons. I'm, I'm not one into measuring, but two tablespoons. And so now we begin again. And now, it, now it's going to be saucy. Put milk in it. And I don't remember using milk in the past. I used to make this a lot. Um, I don't remember putting milk in the past. I know, I mean, this takes two eggs. Uh, the recipe is right. Um, I, uh, for this amount, I, I guess it's okay. Also, uh, I checked online. and So I guess the milk would kind of give it a distinct... See how it's changing the, the color? I think maybe this is what I'm used to, where it starts looking like this. You see that? It's no longer red. It's like you could tell they're mixed ingredients in there. And uh, <clears throat> now it's starting to look like what I used to do. I guess I used to put milk in it. I don't remember. It's been so many years since I used to do this. I, it used to be part of my recipe, you know, my weekly or since then obviously dwindled to monthly and then I never did it again. But I used to make it really good and it looks like this is going to come out good. Now, I'm feeling better about what I'm doing because the color and texture of it has changed. Okay, so I never used Worcester sauce. I, I remember the peppers and onions and I guess seasoning, right? So this is it. This is what it's supposed to look like. Okay? So now, I'm going to put it in a pan. 
Um, actually, instead of a pan, I'm going to preheat my oven. I'm going to use this for the meatloaf and I'm going to pause the film. So just so you can see how the egg came out, it sort of like started cooking itself. It doesn't smell at all. That's for that egg that was cracked. So nothing disgusting about uh, so far saving um, the egg in this brine of um, lime, grandma's pickling lime. Okay, and uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm letting the oven heat up. As you can see in the background, it's heating up. And then I'm going to stick this uh, in here. I'm going to shape it. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I thought I was recording. Well, I guess I was. <laughs> More than I intended to. Okay, so I'm preheating my oven back there. Uh, I thought it was on pause. <laughs> it was recording, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to shape this into here, and in 30 minutes, uh, I'm going to put this into my heated oven. Okay, so the oven is preheated. It actually preheated for four minutes only. I mean, after all, it's a small little tiny... Uh, oh boy. It's, a, it, it's a small, tiny little oven there in the background, as you can see, right? So, um, I'm going to now put this in, and I'm going to let you observe as I do that. So, you'll be able to see me from a little far distance, but I'm going to see if I could bring this down. Oh, very hot. Oh, my goodness. Bring this down, so hopefully I'll have enough room for my beautiful meatloaf to go in with my organic eggs. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Work of art. And it does fit. This is my first time using my little oven for such a big task. As you can see, it's there. It's secured. And I'll let you know when it's done. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be done in a half hour. That's for sure. But I don't know how to extend the hour. So I'll just redo it once it finishes. I highly doubt it'll be done in a half hour. Here we go. Please be patient. Thank you. And have a great day in the meantime. Don't go away. Okay, so I have to be careful because this could slide out, see, and fall. But see how beautiful, let me just take this out. See how beautiful and lovely it came out? I don't even have, and I'm not going to make like any kind of barbecue topping sauce. Um, I may make some turkey gravy. I'm boiling some potatoes. The house smells really, really good. And I'm going to take a, a small taste of this. Mmm. I love it because, you know, when you make hamburger meat, it's just too hard. This is nice and tender. Easier to chew, especially in my condition with TMJ. The taste is fabulous. And I'm really going to enjoy my dinner. So, what do we have here? So for starters, I'm just going to get some potatoes. They don't have to be mashed with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is not really good for you unless it's homemade. And I've been lazy about making my own lately. But nevertheless, whenever in doubt, just pour. And I do eat the peels. Because the peels are supposed to be nutritious except for the environment is not the way it used to be. So... I don't always eat the peel. I just peel it off while I'm eating, right? And I'm going to pour some pink Himalayan salt. Only because it actually does have... It, it, it increases the flavor for some reason. It's really weird, right? Pink salt. Now, I'm going to take a piece of my lovely... Let's see if this could cut it. I don't even know. 
Let's see if it could cut it and shape it. Okay. And there's my meatloaf. Now I could put a little bit of hot honey dressing on the meatloaf. I'm gonna just put one. Oh, this one is the one that's hard. I don't know why it gets hard. I don't understand why that one gets hard. Yeehaw. Which is good because quite frankly, it is a little spicy. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of the spicy honey on it. And uh, I may, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little chirasa. This is what I'm gonna do. If I could so find what I normally use. Oh my goodness. Nothing is around to suit the purpose. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the chirasa and put it in here. If this is. Actually, this has never been cracked open, huh? Let's see. Nope, it has not been cracked open, so now it's got to go in the fridge. Let's say so. That's okay. It would be good to try it on meat. Okay. Oh, it's actually a little spicy. So I'm just taking a little bit because I got some spice already. But most importantly, this ginger honey never goes wrong. Okay, so instead of making my own glaze, this is my version for it. And there it goes. Sweeten it up a little bit. Oops, and there we go. I almost dropped the cap. So let's take this ugly thing out of here. It's just a little dab of what may or may not be good. And I could just sprinkle it across. And around the dish so it could look pretty so there you go my delicious without glaze right because I got lazy my delicious meatloaf by Felice look at that beauty bye now